Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today, I'd like to talk to you about how to use Quarto to create a presentation. Let's get started. To begin, we're inside of the RStudio IDE. If you haven't seen this before, check out my other videos where I talk about how to get set up with RStudio, R, Quarto, LaTeX, and other tools. So here, I've already created a project folder and there are some files already in there associated with the project itself. But now I have on screen the tools to set up a new file. So if you go to File, New, uh, what I have here is uh, the new Quarto document window, and I have selected Presentation. I gave it the title of Quarto Presentation, and the default is Reveal JS. So this is a JavaScript uh, tool and this creates an HTML presentation viewable with any browser. You can also print to PDF with Chrome So if you need to save out your presentation as a PDF inside of Chrome, you can just uh, print it out uh, You can also choose Beamer which creates PDF output, but it needs LaTeX installed or you can even create a PowerPoint right here So we'll leave the rest of this alone as the default and click create and so that gives us our untitled unsaved file uh, with the title Quarto Presentation and then the format Reveal JS. So currently I'm looking at the visual editor. If you click over to source, you can see behind the scenes what's going on here. And we won't use any of this content that is generated for us already. So let's delete that. The next thing I want to do is to save this. So file, save as, and then we'll get it saved. So when I saved it, I used the same title as the document that already was in there when I set up the project. So we end up with Quarto Presentation.QMD. So uh, that's the reason there are no new files in the file tree here. And if we wanted to just take a look and see what this does right out of the gate, um, we'll just put some text in here and then click Save. This is an old file that doesn't exist, so I'll get rid of that. But this is all that we have, and I'll be writing this using Markdown. So if you haven't seen Markdown before, check out my video specifically on that, and you'll know a lot more about how to create using this tool. So with that said, uh, we'll click Render, and then there's hardly anything in here, so it's very fast. And I'll just bring the browser over here to show you. It just has our title on screen. And what it does for you, though, is it gives you a little tool so you can navigate your slides and then uh, you can also click tools and there's full screen, speaker view, slide overview, PDF export mode, and then some keyboard help. So there's already some interface here for you to work with. And as you can see, the only slide is the one that says text. So that's not very interesting. But what we can do here is use all of our knowledge about Markdown to create our presentation. So let's jump back into the, uh, the source code editor here and then we can think about what we might want to put as our top level headers. So we might have an introduction and then we might have, let's just copy that and make content one, two, and three, and then maybe something to close that out. So we have content one, content two, content three, and then maybe a summary. So very quickly, just using a text editor, you can create your slides. And if you wanted to, you can use Markdown to include images. Uh, another great thing about this particular system is you can write code and then have it run as part of the process so you don't have to insert the rendered output from any kind of data visualization. You can actually run the analysis in here and then have it pop up in your presentation. So if you have something that needs to be updated somewhat frequently, maybe numbers about your company, something like that, you can simply refer to the uh, the latest spreadsheet or or even connect to a database and pull in the numbers that way and then render the visuals inside of this document so you don't have to work between different systems you can just re-render this and it works well so one of the fantastic parts of this is the ability to render uh, r or python code uh, inside of the document but in this case, what I'm presenting it is, as is a, uh, a tool for presentations for educators, but you can certainly use it for any other field. So here we might just have some content for that. And I'm not gonna worry too much about this, but just to show you what you can do here. And then we can also have some subheaders. So let's just add second header and we'll add that. 
and then we'll add some uh, some content underneath that just to show you what you can do. So this is just a really simple video uh, and I'm not going to get into a lot of detail about how to use Markdown to generate the content, but um, what we can do here is, is show how it can be used. So let's take a look at the HTML file. And we can see that we have our Quarto presentation. There is a way to generate some on-screen tools, but here we're just gonna use the, the right arrow key to advance to the next. So we see the introduction with some content, content one. We see a second header here with content below it. Content two is on its own page and then content three, and then our summary page. So that's really all you need to know about how to get started with this presentation. And if you're in Chrome, like I am, you can go up here and use the print tools to generate your PDF and save that out. So that's it for today. Uh, I hope you get a chance to look at this and, and try it out. Maybe try it with some of those other options if you're set up to do that and see if you like generating a presentation this way relative to something like Google Slides Online or PowerPoint desktop tools. So try it out. Let me know what you think about it in the comments. And please remember to like, share, and subscribe. Every little bit helps the channel. And come back for more content. I have a lot of videos already, and I'd appreciate it if you check those out. So take care and have a great week.